Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at the old pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, Welcome to the Disneyland Beat, where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm TC. Big news in New Orleans Square at Disneyland. After a string of positive news, we should mention things like earlier park hopping, free photo pass ride photos, and more. The French Market Restaurant, the largest quick-serving dining restaurant in the land and one of the biggest in the park, will be transformed into Tiana's Palace from the beloved movie The Princess and the Frog. This will tie the backstory of Tiana and the food company that she has started further into the story of New Orleans Square and the upcoming attraction, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which will replace Splash Mountain by the end of 2024. A lot of folks were calling for the Hungry Bear restaurant to change into a Tiana-themed palace, but the theming isn't right. The Hungry Bear is just too rustic. We thought this might happen, and we're super happy about it. We don't think it's going to diminish the French market, but rather enhance it. Already, we have a new retail store in New Orleans Square, Eudora Chic Boutique, which is charming, and it's really a bit understated. It's as much a celebration of New Orleans as any shop in the square has ever been. And we really love how the land is going to reflect the actual New Orleans, from the city, into the Garden District, and into the Bayou. The French Market Restaurant and Mint Julep Bar will be closing beginning February 17th, 2023, and will reopen as Tiana's Palace, alongside the Mint Julep Bar with its famous mint juleps and Mickey beignets later this year. We do hope they start selling beignets and coffee in the mornings at the Royal Street Veranda while the Mint Julep Bar is closed. It sounds like the closure will be for most of the year. Disney lets us in on some of the backstory of the restaurant, which includes details about the look of the makeover as well. Tiana's Palace will be the newest restaurant on Orland Street. With its peach-colored walls and fancy green wrought iron balconies, you'll find elegant fixtures and appointments reminiscent of Tiana's life and friendships. The new Tiana's Palace will have much of the same pinch of pizzazz and flair as the restaurant from the film, offering authentic New Orleans flavors inspired by Tiana's friends and adventures in this quick service style restaurant. While Tiana's Palace is not a character dining location, guests may find Tiana in New Orleans Square. So it looks like the balcony will be refurbished to look like the front of a riverboat and perhaps enlarged. It will definitely be featured more as we can see Tiana waving from above. And by clarifying that this space is not going to be a character dining location, lets us know that the character of the whole place is going to remain. Probably with yummy po' boy sandwiches, jambalaya, and gumbo still on the menu and a band on the stage, rather than Louie trying to walk around in the intimate courtyard. Disney continues. The menu at Tiana's Palace will expand on many of the current favorites served in the location, explore seasonal flavors, and of course, offer some New Orleans classics. Tiana's Palace is sure to be a gathering place for friends and family to enjoy great food and celebrate together, just like Tiana and her father James dreamed of. Disney Imagineers are partnering with Disney Animation. We always get good results when that happens. Artists from the original film to bring this story to life at Disneyland Park. In fact, the film designers took inspiration inspiration from the exterior of the original French market restaurant in New Orleans Square when they designed Tiana's Palace for the movie in the first place. So this is a long dreamt, really awesome synchronous homecoming. We think Disneyland Imagineers are incorporating the Princess and the Frog IP into New Orleans Square in a classy way that should appeal to kids and adults. They are expanding the universe of the story and infusing it into the community of New Orleans Square. We look forward to hearing how some of our favorite YouTubers will tie the backstory of Tiana and Naveen into the backstories of Pirates of the Caribbean, John Lafitte and the Haunted Mansion. We're looking at you offhand, Disney. Well, grab a meal at the French Market before it closes February 17th. Are you looking forward to Tiana's Palace joining New Orleans Square? Let us know in the comments. May the light in the firehouse window always shine brightly, and may your dreams always come true. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. 